Would you like to know the type of security artifacts and security documents security architects create? If so, this video is for you. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the type of security artifacts or security documents uh, security architects and cloud security architects create. So many times people come to me and they misconfuse uh, security engineering, which is all about doing, and security architecture, which is all about designing and risk management and strategy. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the types of artifacts we create. Now, realistically speaking, we can divide our, our documentation for the most part into strategic, high-level artifacts, uh, governance artifacts, technical blueprints, and maybe some risk and communication reports. There are some other things we do, but these are the majority of the types of documents we create. So I'll begin with strategic, high-level artifacts that a security architect would create. We would create things like a security strategy document, which will outline the organization's overall approach to security. We may create security architecture blueprints, which is gonna be that high level view of the current state of the security architecture and the future state or the target state of the security architecture. We may create some enterprise security roadmaps, which might be a phased plan for maturing the organization's security capabilities over time. We will typically at this high level strategy come up with some risk assessment reports where we've identified and classified assets and determined what the risks are and prioritize the risk. Our main recommendations will typically be some form of a business impact analysis where we'll map business functions and we'll map the risks to those functions and the potential impact to a risk to those, those capabilities over time and what would happen if a disruption were to occur. And there's typically some level of threat modeling and diagrams and reports that are we're creating to show what the real risks are and uh, how we might plan to mitigate them in the future. Now, the next type of artifact we create are typically security governance and security policy artifacts. That could be things like a security policy, which are say the overarching rules for the organization. It might include things like acceptable use policy, password policy, what have you. We will be drafting security standards. That's another type of security architecture artifact, which will be detailed requirements, maybe encryption standards or patching standards, what have you. We will be coming up with security guidelines and security procedures, a how-to and ways for the staff to do things in a better manner. We might can put a, create a catalog of say security controls where we will map an organization's controls to a various framework, say the NIST framework or what have you. We typically have some compliance mapping documents that show the requirements that we're meeting whatever the laws are, whether they be HIPAA, GDPR, PCI, DSS, and some type of a governance framework uh, where we've got what, you know, who the roles are, who's doing what, possibly even a racing metric. So now those are the governance artifacts, but we do do some technical artifacts too, the technical design. So what that might look like. These will be the security architecture diagram diagrams, which will be visual representations of the various layers of security, the various zones we use, the various trust boundaries, if you will. In today's world, especially if we're leveraging cloud, we typically have some form of a zero trust architecture model, and we will map uh, various mappings of identity, access, and the segments of the system and how that would work out. We will typically have some network security diagrams, which will show how we're segmenting things, uh, firewalls, uh, VLANs, uh, ACLs, ID, that's IPS systems, rate limiting, that kind of thing will be on there. We will definitely have diagrams related to the organization's IEM strategy. Are we using a context aware of so? What are the elements of these? What are we using for authentication? Uh, well, what have you, those types of things. Uh, will there usually be something related to what we're going to uh, reference architecture for various segments if we put them on a cloud, how we would put them, how we would secure them? There's typically some type of a data protection diagram where we talk about all the things we do, whether it be data minimization, data tokenization, obfuscation, and pseudo anonymization those types of things we might be doing, encryption, uh, data loss prevention strategies. There's typically some form of an application security architecture diagram or document we'll write, which will talk about a secure development framework, how we're going to secure APIs, those types of things, recommendations on application security, things like input validation. And of course, we'll typically have some kind of an endpoint security architecture. What are we going to put on the servers, the laptops, the mobile devices? How do we keep that stuff secure? What have you? 
And then uh, we typically get involved in some operational and risk management security artifacts that we create, things like incident response page books, what happens, step-by-step guidance for handling a specific attack, business continuity and disaster recovery plans to make sure that we keep the business up and running when it needs to be, any type of uh, risks registers that we may actually have that we're maintaining various risks along the way and mitigation plans over time. Uh, security metrics, KPIs, you know, mean time to detect a problem, uh, how how many breaches we've had, have we seen a reduction, what have you, those types of things. And then the last main component of the artifact security architects create is more about is more about communications and stakeholder engagement. So we might do an executive security briefing where we give a, pre, a presentation to the C-suite and we show risk reductions in the ROI, for example, of the security measures we put in there. We may have board level presentations where we have to translate technical risks into business risks to a board. We will definitely produce some security awareness training materials. So after an architecture, how do we train the users to adopt the architecture, best practices that say how to avoid phishing campaigns. Typically, do we have uh, some other vendor security assessments? If we're using, say, a lot of Cisco gear, we might have Cisco do some assessments to see if we're following their best practices. So I hope you get this concept. We do a lot of documents as an artifact, and it's, I think it's pretty great. Uh, we sit behind our computer, we write a document, and we get paid fairly well to do it. And that's not exactly a stressful kind of thing. But those are the kind of documents we write as architects. It's a significant component of our job. And all of this is to create strategic blueprints, make sure everybody's following the strategic blueprints, Blueprints all to help protect an organization from harm. If you'd like to become a security architect or an enterprise architect or a cloud architect or an AI architect, join us for a free architecture webinar. We run one to two each week where we go over the architect role. We talk about exactly what we do in the roles. We talk about exactly all the skills you need for the role. And we'll tell you how to get hired. And we do this completely free. This webinar will be on Zoom. So you can ask me questions. I can ask you questions if you desire. We can have a full conversation. These free architecture webinars are completely free. You can register in the description of this video. While you're in the description of this video, we have a lot of free resources to help you in your career. You can sign things like how to win the interview or what, how to become a cloud architect or, a, or an AI architect, for example. There's lots of free guides like that in the description of this video. So go sign up for them. They'll be emailed to you. Now, if you enjoyed this video on security architect artifacts, the types of documents we create as security ar architects, and cloud security architects, please give this video a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your security architect career, enterprise architect career, AI architect career, or any other architect career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I hope to see you in another video in the future. Take care.